back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, what I'm going to share with you is a streusel banana coffee cake. Delicious bread to make for any time, for not only breakfast, but you can have it for a snack or in the evening for some dessert. Uh, it's real easy. You do not need any special equipment. I am going to make it today just with a bowl and a whisk, and that's it. You don't need any special equipment for this bread but it is still very delicious. I thank you so much for being here, spending time with me. I know that you have many choices. If you are new here, welcome. I really would appreciate it if you consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and you will be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are a regular here, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. I will have the recipe and any items that I use down in the description bar below. Just take a look there and I will have some other recipes listed for you up here in the eye in the sky. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start the strudel part of the recipe, I have my flour here in a bowl. I have the nuts which I finely chopped. I have some brown sugar, some cinnamon, and some salt. And then I have my butter here at room temperature. What we are going to do is we're just going to mix everything up. Break it up with the whisk. You do not need any special equipment for this. Just your little whisk. You could even do this with a fork if you don't have a whisk. Okay, pop your pecans in there. Just make sure it's incorporated. Pop your butter in here. And I like to break it up with a little spatula. We're going to make it into little crumbs. You can even get in here with your fingers and just break it up. Okay, we're going to prep our flour for the recipe, the dry ingredients. We're going to take our flour, our baking soda. We're going to take three quarters. One. And a quarter teaspoon of salt, kosher salt. Okay, we're going to give this a good mix. Set this aside. And then we're going to smash our bananas. And you want these pretty well smashed. Try not to leave any big chunks in there. And I just use the whisk. Like I said, you can use a fork. You don't have to use any special equipment, and I use very ripe bananas. And I will have the recipe link below, guys, so don't worry about that. Okay, this is ready. We're going to get the rest of the wet ingredients ready. Okay, now for the wet ingredients, we're going to have our sugar, our melted butter, our two eggs at room temperature, and our vanilla. And then the last thing is our milk. I give this a good, good, good mix. See, all you need is a whisk or a fork. Okay, now to this, we're gonna add our smashed bananas. Okay, now we are going to pour our dry ingredients into the wet and just give it a mix. Try not to over mix it. And that's it. Try not to over mix it so you don't have a, a very dense, dense cake. You don't want a bread that's very dense. Okay, so then we're going to switch over to our spatula. Just make sure that everything is off the bottom. You don't have flour anywhere. Okay, we're going to take our pan. I have a 9 by 5 baking pan. I put a piece of parchment paper with the edges out so that I can grab the cake when it's ready, the bread. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour half of this in here. Just make it even. And then we're going to top it with the streusel. This is so good, guys. Good coffee cake for breakfast, for a snack. Now by this point you should have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, that should be good right there, nice and even. And then we pour the rest of our batter. Just 
spread it out. Make it even. And then top it off with the rest of the streusel. Push it down just a little bit. And that's it. We're gonna pop it into the oven for approximately an hour and 10 minutes. You need to check your own oven after about 45 minutes so you know where you stand with the, with the bread just to make sure you are not over browning it or overcooking it. Okay, so I will be back and I will give you the exact cooking time after it's done. I'll be back. The cake is out of the oven. I did insert a toothpick in the middle to check for doneness if it comes out clean. There will be a couple of little specks on there but that's nothing big and it's ready. We have to let it cool in this pan for about 20 minutes and then we'll take it out, let it cool, and then we're able to cut it. ready. I did let it cool for 20 minutes in the pan and then I took it out. I'm going to show you. I just have it on top of some napkins right now. I did already cut it. I let it cool completely before slicing the bread. So we're going to give it a try. I'm going to take a little piece here and you can tell that this is very moist already. Mmm. 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 Oh, this is so moist and not overly sweet at all. Very, very moist, very good. And if you really wanted to, you could add some raisins to this. If you're just one of those type of people that love the raisin banana bread, I love it like that too. Mmm, this is so good. Mmm, very, very good. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the video. Thank you for sticking with me this long. I hope you give this coffee cake a try. It is delicious. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you. And the recipe and items I used will be linked in the description box. Okay guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.